Hey guys, welcome back. Probably wondering why I'm outside right now, and that's because I am picking up some brassberries off my brassberry tree. Now, today we're gonna we're gonna make some brass juice here. With some 100% uh, organic 556 five, brassberries here. And little stems there. We'll take those out later. Oop, is that, oh, they're falling off. They're so ripe. Look at that. Got a few left on this tree. I already picked my other tree clean. I've got them just hanging ripe right there. Beautiful. I love nature. A couple more. Nice. That's all of them. Oh, oh, almost forgot the straggler here. All right, get in there. All right, let's go back to the bench and uh, let's press out some juice. Good haul this year. Trees are nice and ripe. Kind of idea this the old-fashioned way. It's like those uh those old crazy commercials. So Ooh. a little cold. And just kind of slosh around in there for a few minutes. Dig in. See, uh, see what we got here at the bottom. Oh yeah, here we go. 100% homegrown organic brass juice. Let's try it out. All right, guys. So we're back on the bench now, and I'm going to talk a little bit about the lubes I've used in the past. So when I first started reloading, I used the uh, Lee resizing lubricant mainly because it came with the Lee press that I started out with. This stuff works pretty good. You apply it with your finger or a Q-tip or what have you. Um, I found it to be pretty decent. It doesn't affect the powders or the primers, but it's just slow. And when I got into uh, progressive reloading, I found that I was it was taking a lot longer to lube everything up. If I wanted to do a couple hundred cases at once, it was just a long, long time. So I eventually stepped it up to the RCBS case slick. Now this stuff's good because it's a little pump spray bottle, but the issue here is it affects the It'll affect the primer and the powder. It'll it'll contaminate it and ruin it. So you have to clean your cases after you size them. And I usually clean my cases before I size. I don't like running a bunch of dirty cases through my sizing die. So that means I'd have to uh, clean it like a second time. And I'm not all for that. That's gonna add more time in of itself right there. So I ditched this one. As you can see, I used quite a bit of it, uh, but I never did finish that bottle. I eventually moved on to Hornady One Shot, which is an aerosol can. It's a spray lubricant, and it worked pretty good. I'm not gonna have too many complaints about it. It doesn't contaminate the powders or primers. It it works pretty well, but you really gotta shake it up uh, before you use it. I found that if I didn't shake it up, or if I left it in like a cold like cold room overnight, or you know what whatever, it it wouldn't uh, spread as evenly. And I did have a couple stuck cases with this, so I I started looking for other options, and I've seen brass juice here all over instagram uh, a lot of people are using it and they have uh the rifle case lubricant which is what i have in front of me and then they also have a handgun case lubricant i've been using this on a lot of 223 and 308 brass recently and i really like it it definitely uh definitely a better feel but uh obviously don't take my word for it i'll just show you so let's go ahead and size some cases up all right, so we're over here on the press side of my bench, and I got about 50 cases laid out in front of us here. And uh, to show you that I didn't size them already, I'm not cheating. I'll just throw some in here, just uh, at random. There we go, not sized. All righty, let's go ahead and get these things lubed up and uh, ready to throw in the press. Now, with uh, Hornady One Shot, I had to I shook it up for a while, and I just you know kind of sprayed it all over the place, really liberally. 
And you really got to cover it with Horde to one shot. I found if I didn't get uh, everything soaked with it, it would I would have stuck cases. And I've had about three stuck cases with Hornady one shot. Granted, I've loaded you know several thousand rounds over the time that I've used it, but uh, still three is more than I want to deal with, and it's just a pain digging those cases out of the out of the sizing die. So we're going to see how easy the brass juice sizes compared to the Hornady one shot. So I like to angle it. Kind of like this. Just get a little squirt for each row. So. Just that one over there. And you can kind of see a little bit duller now that the oil is uh, flowing over the case. So I'll flip around and do this side. You want to hold that kind of 45 degree angle, so you're like you're getting it all over the case. But you're also getting it inside the case mouth as well, and that uh, just allows it to spread evenly all around and size a lot easier. So that one is done. Now we'll move on to this one here. Still got to use quite a bit. Any type of spray lubricant, you got to make sure you get it everywhere. You're just not applying it by, with your hand, so. You don't want to risk having a stuck case. So. All right. Those should be pretty good. We'll run run into the die and see how it works out here in a second. Let me readjust the camera. Let the lubricant flow over all the case as it sits there for a second. All right, so we're at the press now. And one thing to uh, remember is it's always important to uh, clean and re-lube your sizing die if you're changing lubes. You don't want to be mixing the lubes together. It's like you don't want to mix your KY and your Bengay. You just, bad things happen. So let's go ahead and throw some uh, cases in here and see how it does. There's our first case. And that's like effortless. Let's check it on the side, uh, cartridge gauge here. Just drops right in. Look at that. Perfect. Throw that one out. So let's uh let's start just going through them all. This is probably the smoothest it's ever been, I'll be honest. One finger, I think. Yep. One finger. I had to curl around it so it didn't spring back up, but you get the idea. All right, so we're really going to put this uh, juice to the test here with some uh, 308 here. And we're also going to take it a step further and use a small base sizing die. That'll, uh, we'll see how stiff it is. Go ahead and throw a couple in here. Oh yeah, perfect. Let's see how that did. How that sized up here. Bam. Right here. Slides right out. There we go. Damn, it's about 30 some cases, just size 308. Small base, too easy. All right, guys, so there you have it. If you're not uh, fortunate enough, like me, to have your own Brassberry tree, you can go and check them out and purchase this bottle at thereloadingstation.com. I will put their link in the description of this video. So go check them out. Uh, if you liked the video, like, subscribe, tell me what you thought in the comments, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.